Hi guys, it's Mr B here and today we're going to be looking at fact families all the way up to the number 20. But firstly, we need to know what a fact family is. Now, fact families are brilliant. Fact families are there to help us know the answers to some sums without even working them out. So normally when we get a sum we have to use, I don't know, some counters or a number line or our fingers. I use my fingers quite a lot. Or even in your head you need to work out what that sum is. Okay, Some of them, like your number one's 10, you might know really quickly, but we still have to work them out. Fact families is a brilliant way for us to be able to know the answer to some sums without working them out. Let me show you how it works. I've got three sums here. I'm going to start with this one. We've got 2 plus 4 equals 6. Not too much of a hard question. However, I'm going to show you how our fact family works. So if we've got 2 and we add 4, we can see we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Brilliant. But what we can do is we can actually swap those around because watch what I'm going to do. If I do 4 and I add 2, okay, I am going to have 6 as well. Put them all together, I've got there. So now I know that if I've got an addition sum, I can swap the numbers around. So watch what I mean. If I know that 2 plus 4 is uh, 6, I also know that 4 plus 2 is 6, so that's the first one of our family. Okay, so let me quickly rub this out. So we've got two additions, but we can also work out two subtractions. And again, what's great with the fact family is I have all my numbers already. I know whatever sums that I'm going to come up with are going to have a 4, a 2 and a 6 in it. Now, I can do two subtractions, and what I've just told you there is... If I do a subtraction, two of them, I already know something about subtractions. When I do subtraction, I have to start with my biggest number. So if I look here, I've got 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 is my biggest number, so I'm going to put my 6 there. So let's give ourselves 6 little dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I'm going to take away one of these numbers. Let's pick the 4 first. So if I do 6, take away 4, okay? Let me cross four out there. One, two, three, four. Okay. I have, look, two left. So look, look at our numbers again. We have a six, a four, and a two. I can do one more subtraction as well in the fact family. Now, if it's a subtraction, like I've already said, we need our takeaway first. So our biggest number, sorry. So we've got our six. Now, if I've already taken away 4, this time I'm going to take away 2. So if I've got my 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This time I'm going to take away 2. I'll just wipe them off. 1, 2. I've got 4 left. And I think a lot of you will have already known that because you can see, and I've said, that the numbers will all be the same. So that time I worked it out. I showed you with the dots how many the numbers were, but you can see that I now have a fact family and from 2 plus 4, I know all of these sums without working it out. So now that I know I don't have to do my dots, watch how quickly I can do this one with even bigger numbers. So I've got the sum 12 plus 3 equals 15. So our first one, I know I can swap the additions around. So if I swap these around, I'm going to have 3 plus 12 equals 15. Super duper. Now, got my two additions. Now I know I need two takeaways. Takeaways, the biggest number's going first. My biggest number there, if I'm doing a sum, is always going to be my total. So it's going to be 15. And this time I'm going to do a takeaway. Let's stick with that first number. Let's take away 3. So if I've took away 3, I know my answer is going to be 12. I didn't have to draw dots, I didn't have to count on my fingers. I know because of my fact family that all three numbers there are the same as that one. I'm golden. Let's do it again. Another takeaway I can do, 15. I've already taken away 3, so I'm going to take away 12 this time. If I take away 12, look, I'm going to be left with 3. Brilliant. So if someone says to you, write your fact family, you know you can work those out. You don't have to work out four sums, you can work out one sum. And you already know these answers, which is brilliant. Don't have to keep doing it. 
Now this one, we start with a takeaway, but we can do exactly the same. So I've got 19 take away 8 equals 11. So, let me firstly, this time I can't swap them round on the takeaway. That's what we have to be careful of. If I do that, it doesn't work, because if I've got 8, I can't take away 19. I've got to remember that I've got a subtraction. So I'm going to do my other subtraction first, but remember, look at our subtractions. We always have the biggest number first. So 19, take away, I've already taken away 8, so let's have a look at another number, 11. So this time I'm going to take away 11, and that means I will be left with how many? 8, because it's there. Didn't have to work it out, I know that, and if I wanted to work it out, I could to prove my answer. So I've got my 2 takeaways, so what 2 do I need? I need 2 additions. So, if I've got additions... I know that the biggest number is going to be on the other side of my equals. Because I'm putting two numbers together, it's always going to get bigger. So I've got my 8 and 11, so I know that 8 plus 11 must equal 19. And now I can swap those around. 11 plus 8 equals 19. So there you go. So I'm going to put a couple on the board now, and there's two things you need to remember. I'm going to put two sums out, and I want you to pause the video and have a go. See if you can work out the fact family. When you're doing your takeaways, the biggest number is always first. Remember that for your fact family. Biggest number first. Biggest number first. Biggest number first. When we are doing our fact family for our additions, the biggest number will be on its own on the other side of the, t uh, the equals. Now, sometimes questions will put equals first. We'll put 19 equals. But we'll always have the two small numbers added together to make to equal the bigger number. So, remember that and have a go at these two. I'm going to write two sums up on the board. Okay. I've got 5 plus 7 equals 12. And I've got, um, oh, let's do it in red, nicer colour. I've got 13. Take away... Uh, 10 equals 3. So what I want you to do now is pause the video, have a look what's the other three sums Mr B knows because he knows his fact family as well. Pause the video now, have a go and I'm going to show you the answer. Don't cheat. Right, here we go. So, we're going to do the answers there now, last chance to pause it. Uh, first one with this one, I've got my addition first, my easy one. Swap them round, so I've got 7 plus 5. And they will equal 12. There we go. Now I need my two takeaways. Take away and put my biggest number first. So 12 and let's take away the 7 first. You can do them in any order. If you took away the 5 first, that's fine. But I know 5 is going to be my answer because that's the other number with my fact family. And another subtraction will have 12 first. And I'm going to take away the 5 this time. Which means I've got 7. There's my four sums. Well done if you got those. Pat the back. Question three. This one we start off the takeaway. Question three. I'm just because I've got a three in the number. I'm getting a bit confused. So I've got my takeaway. So I'm going to do my other takeaway. I'm going to do 13 first because it's the biggest number. I've always taken away 10. So I'm going to take away three this time. So I've taken away three. I've already got one number left that can be. And that's 10. Now I need to do my additions. Now I know with my additions I need my two smaller numbers coming together to equal 13. So I'm going to do 10. And I'm going to add three. And that will equal 13. Super duper. Addition means I can swap these numbers over. And I've got my last sum. And there are my fact families. I hope that helps you do your maths a little bit quick without having to work out every uh, sum. Until next time, see you later.